Hey guys, I'm Nagada Chan and welcome to my reaction for Vanitas Nakarte, episode 17. So, previously, Chloe really surprised me. <laughs> I did not expect that. For real. Yeah, we thought she's like going to destroy the place they are all in, but she actually made Charlatan or Nenia, which is her real name, maybe, probably kind of forced her to take um, to take an actual form because uh, like she is now she kind of doesn't have an actual body so it's kind of hard to attack her or touch her or something like that it's a weird kind of existence but because of that machine she was able to do that because the machine is supposed to override how they are calling it uh like the code of the world <laughs> kind of reminds me of matrix <laughs> but this is like fantasy like stuff yeah so she was able to do that and i'm interested what will happen now i mean she has a right to be really pissed at charlatan because how her life was kind of fucked <laughs> Right? So, hmm, I'm very intrigued. Yeah, and I should probably just start it. So, starting it right now. Okay. The visuals. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, because Charlton was this kind of like smoke. Yeah, a bodily form. The music is so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she takes it very seriously. I mean, that's true. She fucked with him. Damn. I mean, that's a good reason to do that because Sheraton really fucked over with the poor cat. Right? What Sheraton did to him was horrible. Just because the kid wanted to help. So she has a reason to be angry. Right? I think, like, any normal person would be angry. Right? Yeah. It's good. Chloe takes her family very seriously. I mean, she was there in the castle for so many, many years, right? She could have leave, but she did not because... The promise to her family. I would like to know more about Charlatan though. I hope we'll get it. Because it feels like it's important. I'm same, when it is, I'm same. I'm freaking same. So? Okay, they can hear it. I, they don't like it. 
Well, there's this crazy stuff happening. Yeah, it was. No, no, I stop him. Stop him. That's true, but if it would mean Charlatan would get killed, I have no problem. What the fuck? He's already, uh, they are moving too quick. I mean, strangling someone is not easy. Yeah, please. Okay, this might be bad, actually. I mean, I get it, she has a good reason to be mad, but... We don't actually know what is her powers, what she can do. I don't like this. I would like it to be that, the worst way possible, but... Okay, I mean, I get it hurts. Okay, I guess that can be really bad. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, I guess we fucked this. Oh no. Seems like everyone fell that, that's weird. Sasuke? Oh. Uh. Nenia is the queen? Wimpar queen? Something happened to her? That's why she turned into that weird thing and it's kind of like doing this to the vampires. Or... Uh -huh. I mean... Yeah, of course, that's reasonable. I don't like this. This, uh... yeah, she's probably highly dangerous. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Creepy. What do you mean by that? Oh. Oh no, Th this is probably not good. That's why all whimpers felt that. She must be also extremely powerful. Is Chloe okay? I don't know what Nania did, but it doesn't seem good. So that's why Ruth went... Ah... Oh wow, what is what what, uh, what she did to her? Oh no, what she did? Oh, this is probably very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. You don't tell. What happened to her? Why is she is in this weird state? What is going on?
What is going on with her? I do really love the art though. It's um oh, I forgot his name. One of my favorite painters. Shut up. No, stop. No, no, no don't. Also, creepy images. Stop. Because hope. No, hope. We have hope. We know. Thank you. That was creepy. These poor people. Where the fuck are we? Seems like very dangerous also. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. So that's what happened. Maybe, yeah. Probably a little. He should probably know. Well, wasn't sure, but like, still, you. We could talk about that. Maybe they would. True. True. Does Noah look like he doesn't? But it is true that... Mm, true. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Just shut up. Yeah, no way is different. Come on, Juanitas. Don't you know him already? <laughs> He's frustrated. <laughs> he needs to take it on something. <laughs> because... No way. Oh no, we, we did not. Please do something about that. Oh, that is a problem. Hello, animals, cute little wolves. Come on, other people. No way. Oh. Oh. What? Ah. <sighs> Unexpected. How did you get here? How did you? Okay, I mean, back up, I guess. They would help people, I hope. Chill, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh. Yeah, things went weird. Well, of course, probably. Yeah. At least he understands. Oh, yeah, before like some other chasers will get to that person. Also, what the hell are these weapons? All of them. <laughs> they funnily enough remind me of um, Shinigami Reapers in Kurosawa. Kura 
Cheats and cheat. <laughs> they all had such a weird weapons, right? Yeah, that's true. That's the only thing she has. That would really, really hurt her. Yeah. Exactly. Well... True. You probably would need to do something. Exactly. We'll try. At least he's like giving them chance. That's very nice of him. He were like really did not need to do that. <laughs> what I wanted to say, uh yeah, when like there is a charlatan. There is like this drawing which really reminds me of Van Gogh. Go, go. How was it pronounced? I really like his drawings, pictures, paintings. But again, <laughs> he said no. He said no. He said no. Mm. They understand that this might be a problem. I want her. Okay, yeah, that's fishy and sus. So he's like, I don't like it. I'm going to do my job, but like, I don't like this. <laughs> well. Try guessing. Oh, what the frick is this? It's emerging. Yeah. Those are the best priorities. Save as much people as possible. Not let anyone die. Okay. And goodbye, I guess. Creepy thing. So it's Queen? The Vampire Queen? Ah, oh, that makes sense why Ruthven is working with with her. Well ouch. Ouch. Thank you. The music is so beautiful. Okay. Okay. Oh, that did not go well. Not at all. Well, they probably meant it in a good way, I guess. No! Uh, that's so horrible. That's why she's so adamant to work so much for them, because all of this. That's not it.
That's why she's always saying that. Yeah. That is a very good reason behind all of that. She must feel so bad. And being with Chloe must, like, made her feel so good. Right? Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, it's like they programmed her. Brainwash her. She's kind of trying to fight it. Yeah, she was trying to fight it. Like, she really, really loves her. They were so close. But she's a tool. And she only needs to follow the orders. That's so sad. Just because the people which took care of her, like, did that? They really, like, Worked with humans? Is... Is that it? Well, hello, creep. Oh, damn. What it was. This is so sad. Ah, uh, that's so sad. Oh no. Come on. Oh uh, no. She's programmed to do that. Yeah, she's basically programmed. No, that's not true. No. No. It's not. I like that it was Juanitas who kinda snapped at her. <laughs> Hands upon a nightmare. Ah, oh, that was so sad for Jean. Her story is so tragic. <laughs> for Jean! Ah, oh, there is a way deeper story. Way, way deeper story behind everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, there is probably not a post credit scene, but the next episode is just the two of us. Okay, I really like this episode. I think I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 because of kind of more backstories, more stuff showing up. Things making more sense, being more clear. Okay, so I want to know more of the story of the Nanya, or charlatan, or vampire queen, apparently. Huh. So, that's why Ruthwen is working with her. And when exactly this happened? When the queen turned into charlatan? What happened? How it happened? What is going on? She is also extremely powerful, which makes sense. Right? Maybe Ruthven is trying to make things right. And maybe the things which happened influence the queen. So maybe that's why he's so angry at humans. Could it be that? 
Uh, but like the queen or Nania is just like doing this to the vampires, but he doesn't seem to care why. Maybe he's really trying to make it right. I don't know. There's like so many weird, creepy things happening. <laughs> right? So much. Ah, the mysteries. I do really like the mysteries. Trying to figure out what the heck is going on, right? And the Jean story, oh my god. So she is a curse bearer? Because we saw Nanya visiting her. But well, just visiting her, we didn't so much. But then there was a like shot of her apparently attacking Ruthven. And I guess he well used his powers on her maybe well he was he was able to stop her i need more i, I need more details <laughs> and like so her parents are the people which were taking were they her actual parents or they were just taking care of her i kind of now I don't really remember what was said there exactly. So they were, they said that they betrayed vampires and they worked with humans. That's why they were killed, and that's why Jean should bear their sins. That's why she was turned into what she is now, just a tool. Oh. First of all, that's fucked up. She didn't have anything to do with what her parents did. Right? It's just like, oh, we are going to use this guilt and this stuff because we need someone who could be conditioned for use or something like that. Right? So fucked up. And I feel like her parents probably, if they work with humans, meant it in a good way. I feel like they seem like a nice person. They seem like a nice people just from that one tiny shot, but like, probably there wasn't anything malicious. Maybe they were just trying to help humans, but the vampire saw it as a betrayal, right? Because it was a war. Ah, uh, well, we don't know what exactly happened there. It's just what they told her. It could have been completely different. Maybe they did not like the war. They did not agree with something, so they were killed. Like, who knows, right? Okay. I did not expect Nenia to be so strong. Yeah, that is not good. Good damn it. Good damn it, charlatan. I definitely need to know more. I have so many questions. So many, many questions. But I like that like every episode is kind of showing us more. Not enough. But more. So it's piquing your interest. Right? I definitely can wait to read manga because I'm sure there is many more details. <laughs> and in this kind of stories with like lore and mysteries. Yeah. It seems like having those details would be important. But it was really cute that, like, she was kind of inside of herself, kind of uh, fighting her conditioning. Or kind of being set up to her conditioning, like, I'm a tool, I must do this. But she was, like, remembering how much he liked her, so she was kind of fighting that. And it was really, really cute that it was, like, Juanita's kind of talking to her, trying to wake her up from it. Like, it was helping her. Yeah, <laughs> it was a nice touch. Yeah, don't lose hope, John. Don't lose hope. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We can do it. Chloe doesn't need to die. She was just a person who was hurt a lot. She was still trying to be good, right? She was still trying to maintain everything as it was. She wasn't purposely trying to hurt anyone. It just stuff happened, right? And like, Jean Jacques was turned into the beast, so he was hurting people, sadly. Yeah, they were just two poor souls. 
Ah, uh, I need to know more. Oh my god, I, uh, I need to... <laughs> there are so many questions, interesting questions. I do really like this. Yeah. And the visuals, amazing. In this episode, the visuals went a little crazy. Like, what is, what was that weird shield that Norway was kind of like experiencing? That thing, right? Which was like, kind of asking him to be part of them. What? The frick? was that? Even now I was like, um, what did I just experience? What was that? That was creepy and unsettling. It's like so much weird shit happening <laughs> in this anime and I love it. But visually really cool. I love what they're doing visually with all of this. Uh, like some really cool things happening for sure. And the music. Music in this anime is also very beautiful and very emotional. It's like not over the top that uh, I mean, it's not like extremely loud in your ears, but it's kind of there in the background and it's just making the scenes way more better. Yeah, and emotional. <laughs> For sure. Well, I'm kind of sad that Charlatan is still alive, but given what actually Charlatan is, yeah, that won't be easy. That won't be easy at all. Because Ruthven was talking about the Queen, right? I need to rewatch the first season. Well, I would read manga, so I probably would not need to. Yeah, he was definitely talking about a Queen. Something about a Queen in the first season, but I don't remember exactly. Because a Queen has some kind of condition. So I guess... So... Is this like some kind of... Because he was talking about... Malaman. So it's like part of the queen kind of being loose, but she's still like somewhere in some kind of having some kind of condition. And this is like part of her kind of being loose. I wonder what happened. I definitely need to read manga. Oh boy, yeah, well, I guess that's all. I'm very, very intrigued. Very. Goodbye and see you next time.